Our form has been absolutely outstanding. We are unbeaten in 13 games in the league and sit third in the Premier League. Media prediction of 20th. Get stuck. Hey guys, Woody here. Welcome back. This is episode 51 of the Road to Glory Save with Chapman Town. If you're enjoying this type of content and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, if you could, would mean a lot to me. Trying to get 300 for FM23 comes out a few weeks now, and, and you can hopefully get me there in about nine or so away at the time of recording. Anyway, guys, this is the first time that I've got back into this game since my little sort of hiatus. That's you know, like a week behind because I pre-record about a week ahead. So, so shoot me. Anyway, guys, here we are. It is the 29th of January, and we are third in the Premier Division. Yes, third. 46 points, we are miles away from Chelsea, and five points away from City. Uh, in and around the teams there, Man United, Arsenal, Liverpool, and Newcastle. European football is on the cards for the Chats this season. I can guarantee it. We have been in absolutely sensational form since the tactic change, uh, since the Chelsea-Man City losses. Uh, we have, like, we've been unstoppable. We've drawn a few games that probably we should have won, but, you know, you, you can't win them all. We beat Wolves 3-1, Arsenal 1-0, drew with West Ham, 2-0 draw with Newcastle, beating Watford 2-1, a 7-0 drubbing of Fulham, 2-0 over Norwich, a 1-0 draw with Everton, 2-0 over Brentford, a 0 with Spurs, 4-0 over Charlton in the FA Cup third round. The draws with Burnley and Norwich probably should have win, won them as they are... Uh, quite, no, we well, Burnley, actually, maybe it wasn't them, but Watford, did we draw Watford? I can't remember. No, we beat them, but we probably should have won those two games, and then a 2-1 win over Bristol City, Roger Jones, the double there. We face Leicester today, and we are going to, uh, do a, uh, a, the, um, the transfer, the transfer window for the end of January, we're going to go into that. It's probably not a lot of signings that are going to happen, we've got a few that are, you know, happening at the moment. We have actually brought in a couple of players. We've brought in three, uh, and one has gone, and who's gone out? Yeah, two, Joe, two goalkeepers have gone out. Joe Whitworth, 50k to Brighton, and Adrian uh, Semper has gone to Dynamo Kiev for uh, 5.2 million. Wasn't playing as Van der Voort now has taken a spot, and I was like, let's cash in on him, and we made a made a pretty good profit. He's 33, so, you know, a lot of the players down online there. Three players we've brought in, Craig Cleary, I think I showed you this guy, uh, a Belgium English centre back, can also play left back and right back, but I think he's a centre back with that height and a bit low pace to be a, a right back, but he looks pretty, pretty decent, I think. Already worth uh, up close to 20 million. Uh, he is going to be a great player for the future. Cost 1 million. He will become uh, trained at club and also he's trained, uh, and also he's English, which is good, but I don't think that counts as trained in nation because he's never been there. Whatever. Uh, the other player we have brought in is, here we go, Preben Anun Mahloum. Preben. We're just going to call him Preben. Let's, let's do, do that now. Set nickname. Delete all that. And his name is now Preben. You know what? We're going we're gonna to just do this and we're going to make it Preben. Preben. So he's not post Ben, he's Preben. Uh, Preben, he is a, uh, a striker, Norwegian, 18 year old. Uh, he has come in. Did I get him on a free? No, 1.5 million from Union Berlin. I've done that thing again. Uh, so Preben, he looks pretty good here. I like him. Yeah, he's got some good stats. He's got some good stats and he's 18. Let's just leave it at that. Could become quite a good player. Uh, the other player we've brought on loan is Daniel uh, Zanotti. Uh, he's a goalkeeper. Two and a half stars at the moment. Five star potential. Uh, we do have in here optional future fee of... 10 million from Racing Club in Argentina. So he's come in now as our new backup. He's a cup goalkeeper, so he's playing in the FA Cup games, uh, depending how far we get there. And if he looks decent, we sign him for next year, and we've got a good young backup goalkeeper to Van der Voort. Thumbs up there. I am looking at the moment for a, a striker. If we have a look at the inbox here, I've got this right here. Milton, sorry if there's noises in the background, there are children here playing, so I do apologise if you can hear some yelling and screaming. Nilton uh, Vantakemper is a Brazilian striker wonder kid. I'm trying to get him with a couple of other teams where we don't have any money. <laughs> so I'm trying to do some like really sneaky sort of loan deals and stuff, but 
I mean, they're not really accepting this. The other ones here as well is Matu Lek, uh, Leclerc, Leclerc. Uh, he is a Czech Republic French striker. This guy looks pretty damn good. Is it Slavia Prague? But once again, um, trying to get him on loan, but they're still not really happy for that. I wonder if we can put in a bid of, uh, you know, let's maybe make it a 2.9 and we'll put some installments on the never never of uh, 10 million. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you do these bids and you're like, oh, we'll do this, and then you go click and they go, actually, mm, that's, that's, that's a bit more than we want. I cancel this. You know what? You know what? We'll keep it realistic. I've made that and and we've got this guy here, Javier uh, Chabrand. He is a Mexican wonder kid. He's unflappable. He's, he's 18. Look at these physicals. The dude is rapid. We are getting a loan for him. The future fee of 8.75. We're just adding some other things there. Uh, we're going to accept those demands for him. Uh, and we're searching for an affiliate club. The other thing I do want to point out as well, so much information in this episode. Look at our junior coaching, youth recruitment and facilities. They are going up. I am forcing the club at every single, um, every single thing to just, you know, we're expanding the stadium, we're increasing the youth level. We're just, we're just bump, 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 bumping up this stuff all the time. Got a couple of days to the Leicester game. That's the one we're going to play. And then we're going to go into the transfer window. Uh, and see what sort of happens uh, with 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 that. But um, to be honest, we're gonna we're gonna cancel that off. But to, to be honest, we might not do the transfer window because we're gonna get a lot of our business done here anyway. Let's get in negotiations with this guy and see how we go. He was an important player. Would you take a squad player? And we're gonna remove that. He will take a squad player, so that is excellent. We're gonna negotiate the contract here. It's a, it's a little bit of wedge he does. Uh, but we want to try and start off some other sort of competition. We're going to get rid of that. Can we get rid of your minimum fee? And we'll keep all those other things. Okay, let's get rid of that minimum fee. I hate paying the agents. Just drop the agents fee down. So if he plays 20 league games, let's get rid of that and suggest those terms. He's happy with that. Mathieu Leclerc, the French Czech Republic. This guy looks good. He looks really, really good. It's not, he's not that quick though. He's good acceleration, but you know, we'll see how we go. Eh? Let's get to the Leicester game, eh? Quick smart. All right, we're back here for the Leicester game. Um, we have a bit of a problem with injuries. We have got uh, Orhan is out for two weeks, Vargas two weeks, Klopper three months. He's of uh, Zaniotti is an in international duty. So we have a grayed out goalkeeper. Awesome. Um, Gary Thomas is suspended for the next match, and John Nelson is also suspended for the next match. So we have uh, a not quite fit uh, Hadji on the bench, and a Rochgard also on the bench with Bruno Mitchell, um, Bruno Michael, sorry, as well moving up there, and Cleary at right back. So the Van der Morten goal, Cleary at right back, Hadley at left back, McCadion Hermans in centre defence, Gibbs White, Rodrigo Jones, Aurelio Quimbamba, and Guerrero. We are actually going to put on Wang for Gibbs White. The leader like that, we're looking pretty good. Let's go and submit the team. A bit worried about this last game. I can't even remember where Leicester are in the Premier League. They're, they're not above us. I know that because we are third. All right, we're into the shades. We're going to point the finger. We want to keep this run going. We are 13 in the league, unbeaten, 14 in all competitions. Go to the match preview. Oh, look at that. Look at that. What a team. I'm loving it. Loving it. Let's check Leicester's recent form. Very, very patchy. So, that, mm, good team. Smith Row and Didi. A lot of guys they never heard of because they're new gents. Come on. Let's get this. Come on. Come on. Come on. We'll, we'll shout out the encouragement. That's the first thing to do as we're into our very first highlight. I still have no idea where Leicester are on the table. Uh, and it is a Leicester highlight, but we get the ball back through Jones. Jones now carving through that midfield. And Jones. Oh, he's such a good player. Such a good player. Um, so let's click on here and click on the league table. And Leicester are 16. So they are relegation fight at the moment. You would say, Whee! out of it at the moment for to head over to Southampton but we are looking um good we've got another highlight Quinn Bamba here we're thinking in the corner and it is Wolfred Hermans with his first goal of the season and he's Chatham one Leicester Nielski loving it Quinn Bamba here with the cross he wanted to leave because he didn't have enough game time we gave him his game time and he is now super duper happy that he's playing and he's playing quite well keeping 
uh, is on the right, shifts to the left a, a, a few times. I'm thinking that if we do get these two players in, Leclerc and that uh, Mexican uh, wonder kid, uh, we're going to have to shift some players, I think. Um, mm, yes, we are. Definitely going to have to possibly shift some players. I don't know. We're, we'll see. Wang! Oh. Wang with a decent shot there. As we up into third. Oh, I can't believe this. Champions League football? No, surely not. Surely we don't have the guts and the guile to get... Oh, how did Guerrero miss that? How did he miss that? That was a simple, simple tap in. He should have got that. He takes the corner and Herman's again. The powerful header, but it goes... Sailing over the crossbar. That was my impersonation of ball sailing over the crossbar. We've got a highlight here right before halftime. Guerrero with a free kick. Jones with a header. Couldn't quite get to it. But he's back to the striker, Guerrero. Cleary on the ball now. And he finds Hadley out on the left here to Rodrigo. Back to Hadley. Hadley now to Nicadio. Nicadio back to Hermans. Hermans the goal scorer. There's a terrible pass that was supposed to be for Quimbamba. And Leicester now on a counter. Is this is this a cheeky Leicester highlight that starts with us with the ball? Or, and they get a goal just before half time, which is... One of my absolute pet hates. Apologies if you can hear some tippy tapping in here. There is a dog in here who is just tippy tapping all around. No, come on. Into no, wait. Okay, let me point the finger. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Let's keep it up. Keep it up. Keep on keeping it up. Another highlight with Lester on the ball now, crossing it in, but Hadley headers it away. Smith Rowe now on the ball now. Sorry, just something popped up there on my laptop. Oh, that's a thunderous strike from Elliot. But is Harvey Elliot offside? Please, I don't think he was. It's been disallowed. Get in. Get in. Here we are with another highlight. Nakadio to Rodrigo. Wang. Wang to Guerrero. Wang chips it over Marcos Aurelio. His fourth goal of the season. Get him. He started off his game up recently as well. After being quite poor at the beginning of the season, he seems to uh, seems to have looked really good. Why would I take him off? Oh, my half dead right back. No assistant manager. I think he was just going to have to play the full game and we'll be able to bring in the suspended guys next game. It is Leicester now on the ball trying to get back into this game, but the mighty, mighty Chatham Town have a comfortable 2-0 lead, although it is apparently the most dangerous scoreline in a game. Van der Voort dribbling this ball out. Who's the long one? Guerrero using what little pace he has. He can't chip the ball over. Stephens there. That is a good save from the Leicester goalkeeper. And uh, there are some tired players down here. We've got tired defenders, but I don't think that we have actually any decent defenders on the bench to... No, we, we literally have no defenders. So I'm, I'm glad that I double-checked that before we came into the game. Anyway, Quinn Batman is going to come off for Silic. And Marcus Aurelio for Cedric Berger. And we're going to leave the last one just because I have a feeling that one of my centre-backs may park it and we may have to, <clears throat> I don't know, shift around with uh, Hodgegaard possibly shifting into that defensive position. We are. Really, really light on defenders with suspension and injuries. Silic now. Out to Rodrigo. Jones on the ball now. And Wang. Wang going all the way back to Hermans. Hermans on the ball now. Hermans dribbling forward. Nicadio. Nicadio chips over Guerrero. Can he stab it in? He can. I think he's offside. He's, he's done the forward roll. There is a tell. There is a tell. Where it's like if they run away with their arms in the air or something. But he did a forward roll. When the forward roll, that's the tell. When the player does the forward roll. He's not offside. Hermans, uh, Nicadio with the ball here. He chips it over and he's miles, miles onside there. Anthony now whips in the corner. It is bobbling around and Didi now, but Rodrigo clears. And it is that man, Guerrero, on the ball now. He doesn't have the pace to meet his man. Meet his man, beat his man. He is pushed out wide. And he goes for an audacious chip over the top. I think it's a good deflection there. And it's Selec on the ball now. Back to Cleary. Cleary to Jones. Jones on the highlight. Just ends, but we are 3 0 up and absolutely cruising. I think we will make another substitution for a tired, tired player. We've got a lot of them, and I don't know who to bring on. We're going to bring on. Um, ah, decisions, decisions. We're going to bring on um, uh, Atara. I always want to call him Quatwara. Quatwara? Maybe we should change his name. Why not? 
We'll see if I get around to it. I always, always go to change people's names. I forget it. Slick with the corner. He's headed away there by the uh, Leicester defence. And Smith Rowe on the ball now charging forward. Looking for someone. Is that Anthony of Manchester United? Anthony? Could be. Nicadio there. That's a good ball. Ah, uh, here is Otara. Otara now using his pace. The young Ivory Coast. Oh, international. He just didn't have enough. Enough about him to get that ball over. Is it? Always does that to me. All right, we've got a good free kick here. Select, he's a good free kick. They got oh, Stephens with a smart save as he uh, <clears throat> knocks that one over the, the bar. Select now on the ball. There's the corner coming in. And he's heavily on the ball now. Select, Rodrigo. Select, oh, it is Altara. We're appealing for offside. There's no hands in the air. This will be offside because no, none of my players put their hand in the air when there wasn't a forward roll. We definitely didn't see a forward roll there, so it will be disallowed. Shows what I know. Absolutely Dylan spot. But that is excellent. We go 4-0 up. Can we make any more substitutions? We can't. It is Van der Voort now. Hoofing the ball out. It goes to Ndidi there. But Leicester are at 6s and 7s. As Chatham are 4-0 up. Can we keep the clean sheet? Here's a bit of a break by Leicester. Van der Voort. Did he get a fingertip to it? No, it's a goal kick. And we have looked absolutely amazing as we keep clipping at the heels of Man City and so forth. And there it is, a great 4-0 win over Leicester. Uh, John Nicadio, man of the match. He was absolutely outstanding at the back there. Everyone was good. Rodrigo wasn't the best, which is weird, considering everyone else was amazing. Leicester were awful. And that is another, another all right, here we are. We are taking part in deadline day. Oh, it goes all that cool yellow. I do like this feature. I don't really use it that much, though, but I do think it is quite cool. You get a little bit of yellow, you know, and you get the 15 hours remaining. I hope they keep it. Um, so, Aziz Otara. Now, I'm, mm, I don't know. Do we let him go when these new players come in out alone, give him a bit more experience? He's not playing a lot for us. Uh, we're, we're just going to decline that for the moment, and I'll, uh, I'll keep my cards close to my chest. Anything sort of happens in deadline day, well, we'll, 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 we'll come back. I won't spend too long in here. Um, you know, there's a... Uh, I don't have a lot of money, and, uh, you know, I, you're not going to watch hours of me. Hours? i say hours. Minutes. <laughs> 10, 15, 20 minutes of me just, like, going click, click. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah, click. Click, 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 click. All fortnightly staff meeting to inbox. So, like I said, I'll come back uh, when anything happens and hopefully something happens. Okay, so the Mexican wonder kid, uh, Charbrand, he has uh, he rejected the loan offer. So I've come back in now for uh, for seven seven point two five, which is his uh, his minimum fee. So we are going to go into the negotiations now. I'm going to remove that and I'm going to remove that. Sure, you can have. Would you take a would you take a squad player? No, he wants okay. I want that, we want that. Sure, important player. Fine. Fine. We've got like Man U and Liverpool in for this guy, so we've got to we've got to be quite careful here on uh, on what he he wants. It's a minimum fee. Can we up that? No, forty six it is locked in. We're gonna keep everything here to keep him happy and just accept those terms. Now, um finances wise, I've only got about four Probably two million. About spend two point five on that on uh, Leclerc. Uh, so I don't know where we're going to get this other five-ish million from. We do have a fair bit of money in the wage budget, uh, so it is a possibility I can adjust, uh, or I can just say to the board, "Hey, give me some cash." We'll see what happens. Eh? Here is Leclerc coming in. We'll accept that deal, Matthew Leclerc. 21 year old striker, he looks really good. I think he would pinch. But we've, we've, we've taken him out. Uh, there he is. He is Mathieu Leclerc, he's now a, uh, a Chatham player. Um, yep, welcome him. I've been cagey with the media, shot car B minus. So he is really, really good. Can play on the left and the right and up front and also behind the striker if we go and do that one. So with him coming in the team now, uh, it. it it gives us a lot of, of depth on this left and this right. So I am thinking that maybe we do, because um, what's his name? What's his face? Altara well, here doesn't actually, uh, you know, step up a bit too much. Doesn't step up a bit too much. He doesn't doesn't appear. Uh, he's, he's 19, 
So he's probably his playing time is probably going to be reduced. So what we are going to do is we are going to offer him out for loan. Uh, I don't care if they play his wages. What I just want is, is to be a, uh, a a regular a regular starter. So we're going to offer him him out, and we'll uh, we'll click continue and see what happens with that. I'm sure we'll get a lot of teams interested in him. I am happy for him to go out on loan. Uh, I think that is something that will be good for his development. Premier League in uh, in Portugal, we will accept all the offers because that's a roll. And uh, okay, if you want to pay some money, you can do. Strange. Okay, here Chabran has agreed with us, but we've <laughs> only got one point six million in the bank because I spend it all. I can't adjust the budgets. We're going to interact with the board here and go um, great things. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to put in some extra cash. Fine. Oh, yeah. I did the same thing for Wang last year. And we signed him. That is some good transfer. That is some good transfer business. 7.25 for this guy. He is now worth. 34 to 42 million. So he's another strike up front. Can also play in midfield, interestingly. So let's check the squad depth on this one. And does that mean now we're a little bit overloaded somewhere else? So Charbrand is the best, second best. Uh, he doesn't appear in Charbrand. Yeah, in the midfield. So it could be someone in this midfield could go. And I have a feeling that I am looking at. Morgan Gibbs White, 32 years old, 20k a week, three stars, he hasn't been playing that well for us this season. Chance I'm not off to the clubs and just sort of, um, it's not going to react well. Let's see what happens. Um, do, 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 do. I'm going to play to you. Negotiate a little bit more. And then he's like, okay. And then. Confirm six million. Okay, so now he's happy to go. It's, that, that's a weird one, that. So we put him out for six million. I'll transfer list him and we'll offer him the clubs. I used, I can't, I know, I know I bought um, Chabrand in to play like up front or out wide, but I just, um, not doing that. Legia 2.2. Ugh. No, 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 no. That's terrible. I want six million. Or at least five. I'll take five. Because what do we get gives white for? We got him for two point three. So we'll be doubling our doubling our doubling our money on there. So it gives white. Alright, discuss. Here we go. And then we go, look, um more than close. Confirm. And he's happy with six million there. Look, what Okay, he is gone to FCSM online, which is good. But once again, I do apologize for screaming in the background. It is the children. So he has gone to France. Ling Un, how are they doing? 17. Oh well. It'll give him give him a bit of a bit of and guile to be in a relegation fight. And to the end of the transfer window, not much happened in the end. Um yeah, kind of fizzled out. Morgan Gibbs White, a couple of bids in, weren't quite what I wanted, some loans, and it all just, in the end, fizzled to nothing. So he is still here, transfer listed, loan listed. I'll sell him if six million comes in. Um, is what it is. If we look at the wrap-up here, um, the wage expenditure, one million a week for us, and you compare that to anyone else. I mean, you compare that to where we are, Arsenal on third. 4.4 million. Uh, so, obviously, Semper went out. That was beforehand. Uh, Otara went out on loan. And uh, Hajjadi as well. I mean, he's, he's be released soon anyway. And obviously, the players we brought in, Daniel Zanotti, uh, he has come back off international duty, which is great. And he will play his first game against Ipswich in the, in the um, FA Cup. Javier Chabrand, Chabrand, the uh, Mexican wonder kid. I like that he can play striker, and I like that he can play midfield and outright as well. I reckon, do you know what? I reckon we get into training, and um, 
where am I going? And I reckon we play him as a attacking midfielder left, inside forward on support. Uh, that, it, that that is how it was, wasn't it? No, it's, it's... Ah. Um, do, 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 inside forward on attack because he can do it. So we get we get him trained up there as well, which is excellent because he's a reasonable left foot. He looks pretty good. He's a wonder kid. He's already worth thirty four million. And with the board shipping in for that one. So that is good that he is coming. And then Mathieu uh, Leclerc, the Czech Republic French, uh, Czech Republic international, I should say, 21 years old, can also play uh, across the front where we can his left foot though, but he is mainly a striker and at 21 years old. And do you know what? 12.5 million. Weirdly, he's only worth that. That's that's interesting. Coming as a squad player, that's good. That just gives us some good options coming up uh, as well for next year. And because Delos Guerrero, although he's been good for us, I'm not sure we've got an optional fee, an optional fee to fee of 3.5. Totally forgotten about that. We may pick him up as well, because he can play on that left uh, hand side as well. I wonder how he goes. Just, just let's just um let's just compare him here with can we compare him with Roger Jones? I don't think we can be. Let's just let's just compare these attributes to a midfield role, uh, central midfielder on attack. First touch, good long shots. Passing is a bit low. His tackling is quite low, but good technique, anticipation, composure is good. Decision is good off the ball. Teamwork, vision, they're a little bit low. Acceleration and stamina. He can do a job in the midfield for us, I think. So maybe that could be an option to retrain him. Like I said, just the one game today, we did that transfer window. We had a lot of stuff to cover. Cover, Like I said, I am really trying to push through this now. Um, and it will be literally Southampton and United unless something happens in the FA Cup. Obviously with FM23, just picking its cheeky head around my corner. I want to try and get this sort of season wrapped up. Uh, as best we can, so I am going to play some large chunks of it, and unfortunately we're probably going to have to finish it before we, you know, get Premier League and Champions League uh, glory, but it's just the unfortunate way it is, but anyway, I'll leave it there guys, uh, if you enjoyed this and you're not yet subscribed, if you could, smash that like button, leave me a comment as well, let me know, what do, what do you think we're going to finish, are we going to continue this run and claim Champions League football, or Europa League, you let me know in the comments, I'll see you guys next time, bye!